January 29th, and this is the London Review. Hi everyone, this is Robert Rivera with the Rivera Trading Group in association with Trade Trading Academy. And we've had quite an amazing week. Um, GBP USD basically broke and retested every single time this week, which basically tells me that the market is coming back to normal. We haven't had a situation like this for quite a while. We had a nice setup last night. I thought it would be fire last night. I mean, I think GBP USD is still seeking to break the highs but it's not being able to so far. And so on the setup from last night, we had several opportunities, including a fake out, which I want to discuss today because it is a little different than the ones that I showed you um, on the last video. And I think that it will be important for you to be able to um, know the different aspects of it and be able to take advantage of it in all circumstances. This one is on the 15 minute um, chart and it may be, it may look a little different. So let's talk about it. So this is the setup as we had it last night and uh, I'm having to give you more detail today because in order to give you context of what happened, um, you need to be able to see more of it. So bottom line is we have support and resistance showing here. And if you look left in the charts, you'll see why that line is where it is, the top and the bottom one. Okay, the people on our team know exactly what, what this is about. And then the trend line there is, is just waiting for it to break to see if we can catch something to the upside, okay? So the idea here is just simply waiting for price to come to us. The areas in the market that we have set up to understand it, to, to know where structure is broken. Like again, if it breaks to the top, then that structure is broken. If it breaks to the bottom, that structure is broken. If it breaks the trend line, that structure is broken. So we can take advantage of each one of those and specifically about the fake out, then understanding that price is at, at really high levels at the moment, then we may be looking for a reversal at the top, okay? So we can catch the break at the bottom, we can catch the break of the trend line, we can catch the reversal or the break of the top to the top. Let's see what happened last night. So this is the chart as it happened afterwards. I had to mark my that white line there. It's not even perfect, but um, I had already erased the chart and I didn't want to um, rebuild everything. So I just threw my finger on that thing <laughs> and make it pretend like that was the line at the bottom. But anyway, um, we do see that price attempted to break out of the trend line here before. Um, uh, one or two students discussed that in the community saying, hey, are we taking that for a buy or what's going on? You know, should we wait for it to close or what? And I'm looking at the stochastic RSI and I'm seeing that it's in the overbought position. And I'm not very confident that that's going to go to the top. So I waited. I waited and waited and waited. Finally, it broke down below. And as it is breaking support, I went ahead and took it. Okay, so that was my trade. That was my one trade last night. It was a successful one. It was rather quick and I was able to get some rest. But now we see how price reaches the bottom, reaches support, okay? And now it got, it gives you those, those tweezers there, that bullish tweezer uh, pattern of those candles at the bottom and starts climbing back up. Just because it starts climbing back up, it doesn't mean that you take it because it could just bounce and resist at that previous support area. I need to see something that breaks through that trend line in order to get me some confidence that it is a buy. And so sure enough, there it goes. It took off, it broke through the trend line, it went all the way to the top, and that gave 56 pips of the trend line break. But now, now that it's up there, we're looking for that fake out, right? We're looking to see if, if we get uh, a, a fake out at the very top. And I wish I would have Actually, I have another chart and I wish I would have had that here because I don't have that top line. If I don't have that top line, then you can see more clearly, all right, that it broke out and then the very next candle came back in, okay? So that candle broke out of the of the bottom yellow line, okay, the breakout line. It broke out and then it came back inside. That's the signal, okay? That's a signal candle. And plus you have right there, uh, the stochastic is in the overbought position again, which again affords us an opportunity to as a confirmation, right? 
But all we need to see really, as far as price action is concerned, is that it rejected the top, it broke back inside, it even retested and then dropped. And that drop gave us 32 pips uh, with zero drawdown. Again, which is, is just a beautiful, beautiful trade. So I think I caught, I'm not sure how many pips I caught to the downside, I can't remember now. Um, and then uh, I did not do anything else, I went to bed. But I'm, I'm just pointing out the different opportunities. You had an opportunity for a breakout to the bottom, you had an opportunity to break out over the trend line, and you had an opportunity for a reversal at the top with the fake out strategy, okay? So again, in, in, in review of the fake out strategy, when price breaks above the breakout line, we're waiting to see if it returns inside. Okay, it will be the very next candle. It will not be another candle. It wouldn't. It wouldn't hover up there and 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 break out and build a whole bunch of candles up there, whether it's going up and down. No, the very next candle tells us whether it's a, a fake out or not. And so this candle comes back inside. That's my signal for a sale. I had to endure. If I enter there, I I'm enduring about a seven pip drawdown. Um, you know, because again, I enter, I enter immediately after that candle closes. That's when my signal candle closes, I enter immediately. But if you took the retest, the retest had zero drawdown and that came down for 32 pips. That was just a nice, clean uh, reversal, easy to take. Here are a couple of students discussing what happened last night. Queen loved the setup. She's beginning to understand the trend lines and I'm excited for her because I think she is getting it. Um, I'm, uh, she, this is just representative of many, many people on the team. We also have another testimonial, let's see. Okay, yep, this is Joel, uh, I'm sorry, not Joel, No. Um, killed it last night. He uses very small lot sizes based on his account, but he got himself a nice profit. I mean, that's a, that's a nice increase in his account uh, based on his account size. So that was a beautiful, beautiful um, take on the GBP USD and smashed it one more time. Let's see what I got. These are my results from last night. Again, uh, I took the sell, okay? As it was breaking support, I went ahead and took it. Uh, I do believe it even gave a retest on that break at the bottom, but I took it as it was breaking out. I did not wait um, for a nice clean win. Um, my emphasis in doing this video was really about talking about the fake out, but there was so much on that chart that I thought I would give you a little more value. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Welcome back. So as you can tell, um, there's a couple ways of looking at any given setup. There's probably several opportunities there. There are also Fibonacci's opportunities there. There are also pivot opportunities there. There are also quarter point theory uh, opportunities there because in fact, I believe that price went down exactly to a quarter point and then reversed. Um, there are many, many ways of winning on the market. So don't let anybody tell you that your strategy doesn't work, okay? If you practice your strategy and find an edge, that's really, isn't it? You have to have an edge. You have to find a way in which your entry works at a high level of, of, of uh, probability based on the amount of times that you go in. And again, it's not a one-off, right? I mean, anybody can put in a trade and win as well as anybody can put in a trade and lose. What we're looking for really is consistency over a long haul, like uh, three weeks, uh, four weeks. You know, if you can end up the week, the month, blue consistently, then you're going to make money and then you know that you have an edge. Just use the, your edge over and over and over. I've given you more, one more tool here as far as the fake out strategy is concerned that you can add to your tool belt, back test it, use it to see how it works with your psychology. And if it's something that you can use, go ahead and use it. Um, if you're interested in learning more about what we do, Trend Trading Academy, uh, just come check us out. Again, that's www.trendtrading.academy. And we have an awesome team of mentors there. We have classes four times a week. Uh, this is all included in the price. Uh, we give you setups every day. We have an extensive library of videos of classes that we've done before. These are all live classes with questions and answers uh, where we cover every topic. I myself, I'm in charge of the beginner section and I have a, uh, a system of uh, videos one through 18 that give you everything that you need to become as consistently successful uh, and profitable trader. Again, this is Robert Rivera with the Rivera Trading Group in association with Train Training Academy, signing out. God bless you.